This video is the ninth video in the fourth chapter of Google SketchUp for Dummies. It's called Using SketchUp's Handy Dandy Components. And it's all about the components that you can use in SketchUp to add detail really quickly to your models. Let's get rid of this guy, as always. And what I'm going to do is just kind of draw a little, I don't know, let's draw a little box here. I'm going to use push-pull to just kind of push it up, just like that. And what's kind of showed up over here is my materials palette, which is weird. Let's close that. Um, what I'd like to do is go to the window menu and open the components dialog box. Just like that. Okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's zoom out over here. And what we've got here in the components dialog box in the architecture library, and this is just a, a library of components that come by default with SketchUp, it's pretty simple. Uh, obviously, what I can do is just click on these little components. That embeds the actual size so it'll tell you something about how big this little building is. Let's actually. Um, use push-pull and just kind of push this building into maybe a little bit more realistic scale. We'll kind of make it a two-room shack or something like that. And then what we'll do is go up and grab the bed and just delete it. Okay. Let's say I wanted to put a door on the side of this building right here. Now, all I have to do is click on it and then click on my building right where I wanted it to be. And look what I've ended up with. Let's uh, take the roof off of this thing. So click there. So what I've ended up with is a component that actually cut a hole for me automatically right in the wall of my building. Now, the reason that worked is because the wall of my building is only a single face thick. And also, I clicked in the right place. So let's drop, uh, let's say, this door into this building and see what happens. If I kind of put it up here, it's going to end up way up there Oops, on the wall, just like that. So the key to using these components is to drop them where you want them. Now, I could always move them, I guess. I'm going to go up and use the Move tool to just kind of move this down. But it's a whole lot easier to use these components by clicking on them and then bringing them in exactly where you want them right from the get-go. And you'll have a lot easier time using them that way. Let's bring in this big revolving door. Every two-room shack needs a good revolving door, just like that. Okay. So that's pretty simple. Let's talk about other ways you can get components and uh, places to get components if you need more. And believe me, you do need more. What we're going to do is just click on this little um, select, I guess. Uh, basically, it's a library or a menu flyout. It's in a little different location on Windows, but it's there as well, too. And what I'm going to do is go to this Get More selection right there. And when I hit on Get More, it's actually going to open a web browser. That's Internet Explorer or Safari or Firefox or whatever you use. And it's going to take me to a page on the Google SketchUp website that lets me download a whole bunch of other libraries of components. Now, the ones I recommend getting are uh, Architecture, which includes a whole bunch of furniture. I recommend People, which will give you a whole bunch of scale people, uh, even more than the ones that are visible here just like this. So we can kind of drag this guy in or this guy, just like that. Um, I recommend getting transportation. So you'll get even more components like these. There's kind of a Brinks truck and uh, I don't know, we'll drop a police motorcycle or something on top of this truck. We'll see how that looks. There we go. Very nice. Anyway, uh, all you do is go to this little flyout button and say get more and everything else will be taken care of. Now when you select those on the web, um, it'll automatically download them into your, your computer. You might have to restart to have access to them, but eventually they'll be all there and there's literally thousands that you can choose from. And you get libraries of them so you don't have to grab them one at a time. The other way to get more components is to go up in your menu system and go to your Get Models uh, selection in your menus. Now, let's figure out where that is in the actual menus. Actually, oops, I gave it away there. Let's go to Tools. Here it is. Under Tools in Google Earth. Oh, it's not there. Let's go to... It's not there either. View. Let's keep looking for this. I'm, sometimes it's good to kind of do this publicly. Aha! Okay, we're going to go to File. 3D Warehouse, and Get Models. And when we do that, we end up with this view of what's called the 3D Warehouse. Now, for more information about the 3D Warehouse, I'd really like you to check out one of the chapters later on in the book. Um, it's, a, it's a chapter about using Google Earth and SketchUp and the 3D Warehouse together. Um, and it'll tell you all about what this means. But basically, 
with this, I can click through the 3D warehouse and go through and find all kinds of stuff. And, and this is even, even more if it's conceivable. That's a mechanical library. It's not so interesting most of the time. Let's go to architecture and let's for, look for other things. Here we go. Games. Um, there's a ping pong table. All right. So what I've got here in the 3D warehouse is I like that ping pong table. I want to use it. I'm just going to click on this get model button. And when I do that, it's actually going to download it right into my model, and I'll be able to use it. So let's do that. I'm going to say Get Model. That's going to say Load This Directly Into Your Model. I'm going to say OK. And as soon as it's loaded, it's probably going to end up... Oh, there it is. Look, we didn't notice it. There, lo and behold, is the ping pong table that we just got from the 3D Warehouse. So there's another great place to get uh, 3D models from. And when you go and read that chapter about the 3D Warehouse, you'll, you'll see that you can actually upload your own stuff into there as well. So it's kind of a big universe of free user-contributed content that's, that's pretty fantastic. Okay, let's cover one more thing here. What I want to show you, you notice how there's an opening in this wall that I've put the door in? Watch what happens if I select that component and delete it that wall is actually intact. So the important thing to, to realize here is components um, don't leave permanent holes. They can cut holes, but they don't leave permanent holes. All right, that concludes the ninth video in Chapter 4 of SketchUp for Dummies.